When you think of presidents who've been assassinated, your mind probably goes to Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, and maybe Ronald Reagan, who survived getting shot in 1981. But most people don't know that in 1933, Franklin Delano Roosevelt survived an assassination attempt. Here's what happened. On February 15, 1933, FDR was feeling good about life. As the president-elect, he was enjoying his last few weeks before being sworn in as leader of the free world. After a vacation that involved fishing and lounging on a friend's yacht, FDR was in Miami to attend a political rally at Bayfront Park. Crowds of spectators, dignitaries, and political VIPs, most importantly the mayor of Chicago, Anton Cermak, were there to greet the president-elect. From the car, FDR was speaking to them near the stage when suddenly five shots were fired. About 30 feet away, the shooter stood in the third row of spectators, grasping a 32 caliber revolver. Luckily, the man and woman in front of and behind the shooter grabbed his arm to stop him. Their heroic actions messed with his aim, which may have saved FDR's life, as the president-elect wasn't hit. Unfortunately, a few people were. Some of the wounded included a Miami socialite named Mrs. Mabel Gill and the mayor of Chicago. After the shots were fired, the Secret Service wanted to get out of Dodge, but FDR ordered his driver to stay and help the people who had been shot. He rode with the mayor of Chicago to the hospital, helping to keep him alive, and he stayed with other victims at the hospital that night and the next day. Less than three weeks later, FDR was sworn in as President of the United States. The mayor, though, eventually died of his gunshot wound. So who was the shooter? The shooter was an Italian immigrant named Giuseppe Zangara. He was a five foot, one inch tall bricklayer who grew up in Italy with an abusive father and constant stomach pain. Historians debate his motivations. Some think Zangara meant to kill FDR. Others believe the mayor of Chicago rather than FDR was his intended target. Still others think Zangara was hired by the Chicago mob to kill the city's mayor. In broken English, Zangara claimed that no one hired him to kill. I hate all officials and anyone who is rich. Since my stomach hurt, I want to make even with the capitalists by kill the president. My stomach hurt long time. Bizarrely, he also said, I kill capitalists because they kill me. Stomach like a drunk man, no point living, give me electric chair. Zangara was indeed executed via electric chair just one month later, and FDR, who won an unprecedented four presidential elections, went on to be president of the United States until his own death in 1945.